行ってみよう All right, what's good, guys? Johan back here for another,、uh, not a reaction because I was at work when this dropped, but an analysis, more like an analysis first impression video on the new bridal banner.、Um, it was pretty funny because it was pretty obvious that what the banner was going to be about, but、uh, I did call, like when we saw the silhouettes, I did call the entire banner basically. I said,、uh, I'll post a picture somewhere here.、Um, I was like, yeah, it's going to be.、Uh, Laurem,、uh, Sophia, Lilina, either Cecilia or Sue, and Harmonic, Royan,、uh, Elliewood. It was easy, and I exit without.、Uh, <laughs> what's the meme? Fail,、uh, refuses to elaborate and leaves. Yeah, I felt like one of those. But regardless,、um, despite me being, being right, you know, it was a pretty easy guess, honestly.、Uh, it was, we were due for a FE6 and FE7 harmonized hero, so it, it felt like it fit the bill pretty obviously.、Um, and that. that I feel like even though we got FE6 last year, like the fact that we did see more FE6 meant that, oh yeah, they're definitely double downing on the、uh, Roy's harem kind of joke here. So I think they made it quite obvious what the banner was going to be about. So yeah,、uh, <laughs> pretty funny. Let's see what these units are all about and、uh, give my quick、uh, thoughts on them. So here we go. For those they adore, you mean? <laughs> For the one they adore? Alright, l we got Kaya 8, Kaya Hachi, Lilina, which is really nice. As a blue cavalier,、um, this means we have all three colors,、uh, well, not colorless included, but red, blue, green, cav. Uh, Lelina, one of them is definitely not as good as the others, but color coverage exists, which is pretty funny. And we got the、uh, gifted magic here, and we did see her stats briefly. Hold on, let me go back. Yeah, so basically what you would expect、uh, she does have seven more attack and or seven less attack and seven less res on the visible stats here because of that new A slot and five more defense. But what you would expect from Lelina, super min maxed,、um, nothing new here. So, we're getting that gifted magic and that new weapon. Alright, so we got the、uh, True Love Roses, which is basically the same as、uh, the other one.、Uh, she has the Slaying, she has the auto, auto Charge at turn one, which is still really weak to、uh, Elamine and、uh, like Pulse, getting Pulse Tide or Young Ike, Duo Ike Skilled, because it's only at turn one. Unlike, say, Happy, it's not a Times Pulse effect, so. Still kind of weak there, but regardless, it's it's nice to have that set up immediately. And she gets the、uh, plus six attack res, but the she trades the hardy bearing effect for this tr extra two da true damage, 10% of her res, which is pretty nice.、Uh, it's, 10% isn't much, but considering she's going to hit around、uh, 50, 60s res, maybe that's an additional five or six damage, which is pretty alright, I guess.、Um, Maybe Hardy Fight. Well, Hardy Bearing did have its. The Hardy Bearing effect did have its little perks because Advantage has been like coming back here and there, and you might see it sometimes in SD with like Pala and stuff and Sheeta. But regardless, the true damage is nice here.、Uh, we got the Gifted Magic again, and we have the new A slot Still Water, which is like a variant of Life and Death, kind of, where instead of、uh, Attack at Speed, you get Attack Res, and you only get minus five defense. Nothing. No minus five speed or anything, so overall, stats wise, it's better than Life and S4 actually.、Um, but yeah, this skill is pretty nice because it's an unconditional attack res plus seven on both phases. So there's no solo condition, there's no、um, five residual,、uh, like the HP requirement with push or、um, the, the condition that comes with catch. It's just a flat attack res seven, which is really nice. And. The only penalty is the defense minus 5, which doesn't really matter for her. So, pretty good.、Uh, there aren't too many characters I would want to steal, regardless.、Um, Some that come to mind. It's mostly just for like、uh, AoE while wanting to pierce Dragon Wall a bit, maybe. Or like just trying to improve your like comparing the rest stats.、Um, I guess it is. Yeah. It, it's good for AoE spammers who still want to do decent damage against Dragon Wall. Because, like, for example, Legendary Lilina, if you had double life and death, you're killing her res. So she's doing, like, nothing against Dragon Wall enemies. 
with her AoE or and her attack. So this gives her a bit of a better chance against that. Um, so in those very specific situations, this goes pretty good. But in general, it's always it's going to be really good as well because of the attack res plus seven flat unconditional. Other than the defense minus five as a penalty, it's which is not that big a deal for her type of unit, which is pretty cool. Uh, attack res trace three. Uh, far trace three uh, standard joint distant guard which is pretty interesting uh, we haven't gotten it since makaya i believe a uh, pretty decent skill but if you want to improve her aoe damage against dragon wall uh you would probably replace this with something else for sure um, because this doesn't give you the res bonus against dragons uh so yeah pretty solid unit a nice side grade to lelina a bit more consistent uh legendary lelina that is a bit more consistent than her uh but not, nothing meta shaking or anything like that, just nice. Alright. Her art is great, man. Oh, everyone's art is amazing on this banner. Including Arm. Alright, we got Sophia next. Pretty quickly, pretty, like, not so long after her Halloween alt. Red Tome Flyer. So we have Blue Tome Flyer and now Red Tome Flyer. We got the uh, Dragon Bouquet here. Grants attack plus 3. Grants 5 to all stats, which is interesting because normally for a unit like her where they have like low speed and um, high bulk and attack, they usually forgo the speed part of it and just give her plus 6 attack and res. Um, but she's getting plus 5 all stats here, which makes me curious about her stat line in general. Um, but she has the Raven Tome effect and the um, guaranteed follow-up attack. So... Pretty all right. Uh, no, still not that crazy or anything. Uh, weak to the usual stuff of like you know no follow up and all that jazz. So oh, okay. Sorry about the camera angle there. Um, yeah, she has the attack defense push four. So based on the kit, despite her weapon hurt giving her speed, I don't think she's gonna be all that fast. Maybe like middling speed that might be workable at max investment, but eh, we'll see. And she has the attack res hold, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, hold skills are mostly there just for uh, supporting the rest of your team because of the extended range. Good for save balls, you know, all that jazz. Attack res hold might be good with uh, units like Ascended Ithun and your uh, far safe mage tanks. So pretty nice, pretty nice. All right. And she has a dual rally defense res plus. Not the best base kit, honestly. I'm not a fan of attack defense push, personally. Alright, here we have... A new Cecilia ult. Alright. Share melee, the goddess. Uh, we have a red tome cap Cecilia, alright. So a lot of just color variations of their originals or other alts. So we have the demote of this banner with the Bridal Orchid, uh, which gives attack rest plus five if you're healthy and a mini uh, blade tome effect here, uh, like half blade tome effect. It's only bonus on, on attack and rest, which is okay, I guess. Um, but it's definitely not her best option, I would say. Uh, she has a dual rally at four star. Uh, which is really nice for those who are uh, trying to get some easy uh, score boosting in their arena cores uh, or for their bonus units. Uh, attack res ruse 3, attack, or uh, rouse attack res 3. Um, ruse is also pretty nice on a 4 star, pretty solid skill. Um, yeah, uh, in my opinion, she'll probably be best using the, uh, the vulture tome build, which is, you know, vulture with catch and menace i think she's gonna be a pretty good user of that um we we're not sure how good her defense is gonna be or her speed but if her defense is pretty decent like vulture is gonna be really good with her because she's gonna get all that extra debuffing and in attack so i feel like that'll be her best that being said she's probably gonna have middling speed again or lowest speed so again not gonna be the greatest unit but you know, definitely a fan favorite for some people, and since he's 4-star, I'm sure a decent amount of people will plus 10 her, but yeah, uh, happy for you guys. Her art is fantastic, and Share Melee is a wonder as always. Alright. And we have 
Harmonized, Roy, and Eliwood. Drawn by Wadasachiko, my favorite artist in all of Fire Emblem. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright. Harmonized, um... It's not har well, harmonized for FE7 and FE6, and a green axe cab. Uh, the Japanese trailer actually had a better line for their introduction. It was like something about Roy asking if he looks fine in this, and then Eliwood's like, "Oh, you look, you look dashing as you would expect as for my son, or something like that." As a joke, but uh, yeah, really, really wholesome. We were all waiting for this. All right, so we got. Blazing Pole Arms, which is like a side grade to, or more like an upgrade, I guess, to Nini's Ice Lance in a sense. Because uh, it has free Kanto, solid um, fixed Kanto to effective against Dragon and Beasts like Nini's Ice Lance is and has Slaying. I think Nini's Ice Lance also had that. Pretty sure. Uh, maybe not. And if unit initiates combat, it gets the Fireball stats. And also has the. Uh, Leg yarn effect? The duo, not leg yarn, uh, duo, uh, dagger effect, I want to say. Where, at, well, kind of, because I think duo dagger debuffs only attack defense speed, or defense and speed only, uh, based on her buffs, but now it's all stats based on his buffs. Yeah, uh, up to minus six all stats. Uh, it's similar, it's similar, I'm pretty sure, but... Yeah, that's a solid weapon. Just a lot of stat swings going on. Um, just the fact that it has Kanto itself is going to be... Makes it an incredible weapon. Like, it could have been missing, like, the last part of the effect or whatever. And it will still have been godlike because of fixed Kanto too. Uh, it is what it is. Um, but on top of that, she he has the effectiveness against Dragon and Beasts. So, you know, Fall Nato Guard. Well, yeah, he has Flow Force. Fall Nato Guard... Uh, Rhea, Fallen Rhea, you know, Ascended Dithune is weak to this because it's Dragon Effect in this, so. Yeah, uh, he'll have good matchups uh, against some common meta threats. Um, we have Luna and Sturdy Surge, which is a strange choice considering um, he's like more offense player phase oriented, attack and speed. Uh, he could be enemy phase though, for sure. Like, yeah, he can easily do enemy phase, but. Yeah, I don't. Uh, you're definitely switching off Sturdy Surge for sure. For either uh, Surge Sparrow or whatever other A slot you'd like, a catch or whatever. Um, and then we have a new flow skill, Flow Force, which is the no follow up thing and neutralizes your attack and speed penalties, which is pretty cool. That being said, I don't think this is that fat, like that amazing. It's nice for sure, but. Among all the floor, I, I still think Flow Guard is easily the best one. Flow Guard is, like, I feel like uncontested the best one. Flow Flight can be okay if you have the right stat line, I think. But Flow Guard is just so incredible that you don't die when you're initiating to, like, those crazy instant retaliation specials and stuff. Like Krom's Deadeye or whatnot. So, yeah. Um, definitely think Flow Guard is better here. And since he has this slot open because he has fixed Kanto, I think that's probably what you want to go for optimally. Um, I guess you could also lull, uh, which to double down on the debuffs, so that's an option too. But I think you want to guarantee his follow-ups with Flow Guard if you ever have a spare Thor lying around. <laughs> and we have probably what Legendary Roy's Remix is going to be in Faith in Humanity, where he goes from racist to incredibly racist. Uh, where <laughs> he still has the no beast or dragons condition, uh, still gets the attack 6 uh, attack speed plus six. I think it was five before uh, compared to human virtue and if two or more allies on your current team other than dragon or beast allies have bonuses of greater than or equal to two, 10 excluding himself themselves I guess uh, neutralizes uh, the special cooldown stuff like you know anti-special fighter stuff which is really good guarantee his specials um, and now that I just realized he does not need flow guard <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> so, Floor Force, yeah, go with that, stick with that. <laughs> or switch to a lull. Um, yeah, he has anti-guard and anti, uh, anti-heavy blade and stuff, so. Yeah, pretty solid unit. Again, not too meta shift, not meta, not anything meta breaking at all, even when you consider his harmless skill we'll talk about in a bit. Um, just, he's just another hard-hitting player face cav. 
that doesn't do much other than that. So he's kind of like just another type of Nana or Brave Erica in that ballpark, I guess. Summer Shida. So very strong, no doubt, but he won't really cause anyone to make changes to their SD team or whatever for, uh, or anything like that. Uh, in the context of SD, um, AR, whatever, you know, he's going to be strong regardless. But yeah, now um, let's take a look at his Harmo skill real quick. Okay, uh, which is Resident Shields and the Defense Res plus 6. And Treachery, which is true damage based on... True blade damage, basically. Uh, not um, attack boost. It's actual true damage, aside from damage reduction effects. Which is really nice. It's kind of like a Bridal Makaya's Dominance uh, buffing thing. But um, it doesn't have the, uh, co the column requirement. And it's global range, despite it... Uh, being for only fp6 fp7 it's nice for sure it's, it's gonna make a lot of people uh hit super hard it works on nino so you could like double down on her blade effect which is pretty funny um that being said again it's nothing too crazy uh it's still countered by you know your lulls your buff neutral the, the typical bra uh, blade counters so yeah and despite that like you know hardy fighter saves are very common and they won't really care about this that much, especially the ones with like DD4. Like this does nothing against them, so it's pretty whatever, honestly, in the grand scheme of uh, the competitive side of things. Um, but it's just nice to have it in other modes and whatnot, and it might come into play in competitive occasionally against those foes that don't have that aren't prepared for it. So solid, but absolutely nothing crazy at all. All right. Yeah, Roy without his headband is so... <laughs> I'm not used to seeing that. <laughs> Shall we proceed? You can do this. Awesome. We'll protect you always. Very nice, very wholesome. Alright, and our TT unit is going to be, as expected, Larum, who is going to be a Lance Flyer. So our second free Dancing Lance Flyer. Um... <laughs> next to uh eldigan so pretty interesting we already did we did um see what she's got she has a lance that does the attack defense variation of the uh, cecilia's weapon which is whatever i guess um but she does come with guidance which it's been like 10 million years but <laughs> we haven't had many sources of guidance other than the seal so it's nice to finally have the option to put it on our c slots um because it just allows more flexibility in our uh, building, uh, hero unit building and stuff. So finally, <laughs> finally. Uh, she also had attack cantrip, which is whatever. Um, so that confirms she's going to have a dance, uh, which is, you know, expected. Uh, her art's really nice too, by the way. Uh, so yeah, pretty nice freebie. It's always nice to get these free dancers. Um, especially ones like this where if she's flying, she can provide even more utility and support. Uh, obviously, she probably won't have the defense that Eldigan does, so no AR utility there. Uh, yeah, and our TT seals are... It was a dual chill and defense res form, which is... The dual chill is whatever, I think, but the defense res form is uh, pretty nice, honestly, for a lot of the, uh, you know, tanky save units and whatnot. Um, I do feel like we're at a point in SD meta, at least, where... Some people are exploring uh, not running Deflect Magic anymore because of like, you know, how everyone was running Deflect Magic. So because of that, you know, your Corrins and the Scythias, they kind of phased out of the meta slowly. So and because of that, some people have opted to, you know, switch off of Deflect Magic again for more stats. So in those scenarios, I, Defense Restform is quite nice. You might want to run Breath instead, uh, but... Defense res is a uh, form is definitely a nice option. Um, it is going to be a bit less consistent than DD3 as a seal, but um, in the start of a match, the beginning of a match where saves most matter uh, matter the most, you're going to have the plus seven plus seven, which uh, is only one stat difference, but um, it could mean the difference. Honestly, you never know. So, pretty decent seal, I think. Uh, but yeah, uh, the dual chills, whatever though. 
So, all right. Yeah, really nice banner. I love Eli. It's my second favorite after Tellius. Uh, this banner is awesome. I love the Harmo, Roy, and Eliwood so much. And the other unit choices are awesome. Despite it being FE6 again, I'm really excited. Which, um, you know, I kind of wasn't expecting because of... Uh, well, despite me predicting it, right? Um, at first impression, I was like, another FE6, really? I think a lot of people were too. But this banner is pretty nice, honestly. Pretty nice. So... Pretty happy about it. Uh, I'm not gonna, I don't have the Obrish to really pull on it though, so um, yeah, it's gonna have to be a pass for me, unfortunately. Uh, thankfully, none of them are too meta relevant at all, uh, so I mean, Roy kind of is, but yeah, not a must have or anything. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'd love to hear your opinions, who you want to pull on this banner. Uh, also, still taking any more questions that I could use for my summoning videos or any other content that I might need to fill up some time. Uh, with your uh, questions and whatnot. So uh, please leave those in the comments below. Please leave a like if you like this com uh, content. Subscribe if you really, really like me. And uh, hopefully I can bring you some more content over time. I think I might stream my SDS matches. I'm not sure. I haven't prepared for it much yet, but I'll try to get that going. Um, so yeah, uh, see you next time, guys. Peace out.